okay so now when I go to the cover like this so there is a gap between the character and the wall so that's because in my character I have a capsule like this and this capsule is quite large so the reason I had to make it large is when I try to vault uh, if the character is too close to the to this wall the characters leg go through that wall so that's kind of odd but uh, I can't edit the animation so therefore I just made it larger made the capsule larger so right now to fix that problem this may not be ideal but let's try something like this let's actually uh, decrease the size of this capsule so right now it's actually it is the size of this capsule collider so its uh, radius is 0.69 I can reduce it like this 0.24 it's okay I'll take it as 0.7 uh, for the normal size and I'll use 0.25 for the small size so now when I try to take cover when I take cover how to get the collider get component uh, let's keep a reference to that like this private capsule collider capsule and I'll initialize it here equals game object get component capsule collider like this right now when I take cover let me collapse this node so I can easily see those methods okay here capsule collide no just capsule dot radius equals 0.25 f make the capsule collide smaller then I should move the object closer to the wall so let's do that next first let me check what happens so it stays like this but first I need to move it forward so we can do it like this from the point uh, using this hit info raycast hit info we can calculate a point near to the wall so let's see how should we do this hit dot 
point impact point in the world space right hit dot point plus hit dot normal that means the normal of the surface the ray hit okay normal into the size of the capsule that means 0.25 uh, the radius of the capsule actually okay so this should be the new location of the character except the the vertical location so I'll vector 3 cover pos that stands for covering position then I'll do this transform to move end value right so the end value should be new vector 3 x value is cover pos dot dot x and the y value should be just transform position dot y because I don't want to change the vertical position of the character and our boss dot z that's the new location and the duration would be let's say 0.2 seconds all right let's see how it looks I guess we were wrong about the way we calculate let's try 0 0.2 no here 0 0.25 still no why is that uh, right 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 so first yeah actually we need to add oh sorry oh well actually I have made a, a little mistake here so this in the second parameter it's meant to be the direction not the end point so I should should not have used this V plus so that's why I that is why I here yeah, I'm getting pulled back that should be the reason let's see now so now you can see the right now it is working like this all right go here and now the character is properly on the at the wall but it seems this radius is not enough Let's try point 3 and also oh right let's try 0 0.2 right now it's properly at the wall okay 
so in the next step I'm gonna work on these things and now at the moment when I let me disable gizmos when I crouch the character goes to goes to cover position with the cover animation and comes back that's because I'm not looping that in cover animation so actually instead of doing it like that way I'm gonna I'm going to add a different blend tree for moment in the cover so that's the next part I'm going to do and I'll stop this episode at this point so if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club the link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye